G'day and welcome to this e-learning quick tip number 44. Today I'll be showing you a tool called Workflowy, which is a bit of a departure from my normal uh, quick tips. This is more of a productivity tool, and I use it in just about every facet of both my work and personal life, and it's a way I organize all of my thoughts. So let me show you what it is. So Workflowy is a tool that lives on the web. Um, it's basically a sort of beefed up to-do list or um, bit bullet point list and it looks fairly humble when you start with it. It's only after a little while that you recognize its power and potential. So you can see here that we've got a pretty humble start. We've got a few items. Maybe I'm going on a holiday. It's Christmas time and I'm planning my holiday and I've got items that I need to pack. Other items that I need to buy. Now what I'm doing here is I'm simply typing and when I get a new bullet point I just hit return. Okay, so I've got a few themes there. I can use my arrow keys to move up and down. And what I can also do is to indent items. Now what I'm doing here is to hit tab key. So under to pack there might be clothes, shoes, and I'll need a few different types of shoes. So I'm going to hit the tab key again. I'm going to need some thongs, dress shoes, etc. And if I want to outdent or unindent, I can hit the Shift tab now. If you don't remember all of these keyboard shortcuts, it's no biggie, because there's a little handy um, pull-down menu here uh, that shows you all of them, so you can very quickly work out how to navigate this thing. Now, what I like um, about this is that after you've started to compile a list, as you see here, it can start to get a bit busy on screen. It's very hard to focus your attention. But maybe I'm at the point when I want to start packing items. So I'm not really concerned with all the other information to screen. I just want to focus my attention on the packing. And all I can need to do there is to click on the bullet point itself. You'll notice a little halo forms around it. And what happens is it focuses in then on that part of the list. You can see at the top it's got what they call breadcrumbs. This shows you the pathway to where you are. And you can use that to navigate back up the tree. But while I'm packing items, I've put my thongs in the case now, I can actually mark that as done. And the way I do that, and again it's described here in the keyboard shortcuts, is I can simply hit the control key and hit return or enter. And the line draws through and it appears to disappear. And I'll do that for my dress shoes as well. Indeed, it hasn't gone away. It doesn't get deleted. But at the moment, I've got completed items hidden from view. If I click on that, they become visible again. You can see they're drawn with a line through them there to show that I've done them. So indeed, you get to control the visibility of items that have been done or not done. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use these breadcrumbs at the top here to navigate your way around the list. So what you quickly realize then is that you're seeing more power than you see on screen at any one time with Workflow. And indeed, as I branch down into these areas, notice this little plus symbol in the left of an item as I hover over it, you can see that indeed the level of detail and information can become really very, very deep. And I likely have tens of thousands of different items in my workflow, remembering that I've been using it now for about two years. So this is really a complete brain dump for the last two years of, of work and personal life. Here are all the minutes for all of the meetings I've attended, um, and I can drill into those. Now, of course, when you've got that extent of information, you can't be clicking around trying to find it. This is where the search feature is incredibly powerful, because as I um, start to type anything, so for instance, I might be looking at my notes around a project called the RPFF project. So I begin to type that. Oops. And it searches everywhere within Workflowy, all of my notes, to find that string. And so I can then have a look around and say, aha, that's a particular um, bit of information I was interested in. Use that technique before of clicking on the bullet point to focus attention in on that area. And so I can very quickly now dig in and focus my attention on specific areas within Workflowy. And it's more powerful again than that, because not only am I taking these notes potentially for myself, but I can share them with others. So as I hover over any of the headings or uh, bullets here, 
you'll notice a little left menu appears with the various options. One of them, and I've already done this with this particular one, reads shared. So if I click on that, what it provides is a link that I can send to others so that they can indeed view these notes in their own browser and navigate through them in the same ways that you see here. So you can reuse and share your, um, your hard work with others, which is really, really powerful. And it gets better again because these uh, lists, uh, they live on the web and they're available to all devices. So if you've got an iPad or another tablet PC or your mobile phone, your smartphone, this list travels with you. And indeed, I use it that way. So I can compile a shopping list and I can be in the shops and tick off items as I buy them. Um, my wife who's at home can add items to that shopping list whilst I'm still in the shopping centre and so I can continue to, to work that way. So you can do that sort of collaborative uh, list development as well. So it's incredibly powerful this tool. I, it, it's one of those things that the more I use it, the more impressed I am with its design and its capability. And I think it's one of those tools that you need to play with a little while to convince yourself of its if it's worth I'm a, a real evangelist for it now, but until you play, you really can't understand how powerful a tool it is. So the first thing you need to do is to sign yourself up. Workflow is, <coughs> is free, and all you need to do is provide some email details, and you're signed up in a, in a few moments. And from that point on, you can then use Workflow anywhere that you have the internet. And your notes travel with you, so if you um, nod at your laptop, no matter. If you lose your computer, no matter, because these notes are all on the web and they're available to you wherever you have the internet, including on your mobile phone. So, there you go. Have fun with that. I think it's a really, really useful tool.